to upgrade with the Poison Mist boss-wise in our last episode. Um, so that's hype. And I think, like, mostly everything is... Okay, so we can upgrade this one more time, and we can upgrade our shield if we want to. But I'm going to say, who gives a shit? We're pretty strong. Um, and I don't know which spell I want. I th Oh, yeah, but we can equip them when we're out there. I, I, in this game, I'm always like, shit, which things do I have to do here? I have to burn the ash. I'm not going to forget. I'm not going to forget. They, they put their stuff into the menus in a weird way in this one, but it's, like, not bad enough for me to actually complain, if you know what I mean. Oh, we got money. Let's go buy the rest of those spells. <laughs> yeah, no, it's... Isn't it? It's the plus. It's the plus plus. I think when you burn... And hydrating. That's awesome. Love it. Love to hear it. I am also hydrating. Oh, we can turn up the voices a bit. I want to have the voices nice and loud. Working and lurking. Thanks for the stream. Yeah. We might. That's. I'm not going to last super long, but I am going to do this for a little bit. Because I'm having a great time hanging out with my friends. Temporarily boost. Okay, let's try that. I want to try the profuse sweat in the swamp and just see how that goes. But we also learned about the... Yeah, bye kicks. Appreciate you, dear. Have a good lurk. What? Uh, oh, right. Thank you. Got you. Right, I agree, Gene. What a nice way to spend a Friday. Uh, esoterica. Esoterica is obviously the, the most important channel, but I'm going to show you specific ones that I want you to watch. Uh, Maria the Jewess. Yeah, I love to hear it. Don't oh, forget breaks, but also... Fuck yeah, go for it. <laughs> uh, okay, there's a random one that came up that I also want to show you, but I don't think it'll be relevant. I don't know if it'll be relevant for you or not. Oh, I should just start giving these out as little little treats to people. Because I like have such a... I know which ones go where. If I just like s scroll through, I'll be like, oh, this one will be good for kills. Oh, this one will be good for Gene. Oh, we like this one. Uh, I don't think this is... No. Yeah, this is it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this one's great. Maria the Jewess is, like, a great alchemist to study because she's a girl and she wrote some of, like, the, the best, um... That, like, for actual diagrams that historians want to actually analyze, you know, like... Like the 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 Splendor Solace is like cute, but it's it's mostly just pretty pictures that are in all code. Like it's full code. I mean, they're all full code, but like the other ones look more like like somebody's notes in a lab. <clears throat> right, exactly. That's why I say t don't don't forget breaks because I've been like um, very very manic on days. When it comes to lore. Right. Red King, White Queen. Um, I can... I'm gonna gi I'm, I will give you a... Like a... A spoken out loud version of it soon. I'm getting closer to being able to actually do that. It took me a long time to get there, unfortunately. Because the, the information is so disjointed. It's not that it's not there. It's, like, out there. But, like, I don't know. Nobody really puts it the right way. <laughs> you kind of have to, like, put it the right way for yourself. In some ways, I feel like. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, 
the 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 red king and the white queen can refer to the stages. Or no, they are they are mostly references to the stages in like the very end after the sublimation stuff that I talked about. After Venus is the white queen. Actually, I can show you something. I can show you something quick. Um, we still have it open, right? I can at least explain those two and just like not leave everything else out of it because if we talk about everything, it'll kill us. We'll just talk about these two in the Hermetic Flask tradition. See, that's it depends on who you're talking to, right? They're slightly different. But okay, so this is the one that Elden Ring starts at. It's actually very far along. It's when, or at least I think. Um,. There's a lot, there's been a lot of like setup and a lot of mixing of things and then merging of things and then a new thing emerging from that thing. And then you got to separate them again. And then you separate them again. And then you get like these two divine forms. Like these are like the purifications process. And then as it purifies, it's going to like its final form. So this is like the two steps that lead you to the Rebus. And the Rebus shits out the. <clears throat> shits out the philosopher's stone so she she shows up then he shows up then they fuck in the in the flask and then they like go <laughs> and then they like shit out a rebus and the rebus shits out the stone make sense <laughs> the rebus shits out megala megala is the rebus i think <laughs> smile <laughs> Yeah, Rubido is redness. So yeah, Rubido is like it there so Rubido is sometimes the Red King, the Red King is like a Rubido step, I think. That part's unclear. But Rubido is also like this. This Boyd. I'm pretty sure cuz these these first three phases, they're like separated from each other, right? And you're supposed to mix them. Right. Right. He's the, like, like, like I said, all of this other shit already happened. All this other shit it did already happen, and, like, we're, like, at the end of the fucking cycle. Which is how Miyazaki's stories usually go. Miyazaki's story, usually, like, if we're talking chronologically, you usually do it like this. You start here, you go to here, and then you jump back. And then you examine these parts. And then you, like, never see some of the middle stuff. Uh, that's... That's like the usual structure. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to talk about how we might be going to this one. Where the world is kind of cold. We might be. I don't know. You know, it's all when I get to the point of actually guessing what's in the DLC, all bets are off. It's just random shit, right? Um, but I hope that I can teach you guys a lot about alchemy along the way. And actually, like, flex my alchemy for once. Which really wasn't flexible. Fl flex-worthy until recently. But it was, like, almost flex-worthy. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm doing some good shit, finally. Okay, let me play the game. Game, game, game. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Rebus, yes. Hmm, hmm. Oh, we need larges. So actually, we are fully upgraded. You've known quite... Oh, thank you, Gene. Thank you. But I didn't really understand it, I think, is, is the thing. I just... I didn't really get everything that I knew in my head. You know what I mean? Until I did this part where I really, like, said, okay, what is the peacock? Like, I forced it out of my brain and, like, got through all the, the rubble of, like, the, the bullshit that is the notes that are in my book. And, like, all, yeah. And also just hearing um, Rachel say it over and over again. Rachel has just, like, said it to me and the community in, like, so many different ways it, over time. Um, that, like, that was sinking in over time, too. <laughs> 
<laughs> and like even then it was still hard. Um, I'm just trying to decide what I want to do with the rest of my money. I should just buy these. We'll just we'll be happy. We're gonna want to we're gonna want to upgrade something else soon. Bring me more. So oh, oh, we can buy some uh, some poison darts or some shit with the rest of the money. Darts? You got any darts? Yo, hook me up with some darts. Y yo, yo, you got a dart? Oh, Sage's big hat. I'm so. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Shut up. Gray Rat uh, might have darts. Which one's Gray Rat? Is that the new... Is that this guy who complains? Complainer type? We're going to put this on right now so I don't forget. That's for the fetish swamp. Cute little imp man. Oh, okay. So we're not quite there. We're close though, aren't we? He's been through it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Alright, I'll just buy something random. We'll get money later. The thing is, you just get rich at some point, and so it's like kind of silly to care too much. Be his BFF, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, is it the is it the one? Is it the one from the spot? Wait, I don't know where where. You guys, you can't just let me miss an entire NPC. You're supposed to yell at me. Is it the one from the spot? Is it? Is it the one from the alleyway? But that's that's way later. That's not in Lothric, is it? That's in the undead settlement. This character the first gave you the same feeling when got when Bach died. Oh, okay. Okay, vibes. Okay. Tower on the wall. Got it. Why do I so Oh my god. Is it the... Wait. There's another person that's obvious that I missed too then. Right? Okay. We're in the tower of the wall. Go all the way down. Yeah, I missed two people, you're right. It's because we talked to him on the other character. Oh, whoops. Okay. Now we're playing. Sorry. Excuse me, sir. Sir! Okay. So, ooh, that ain't bad. Okay, so is this a thing I gotta open? It's locked. I just don't think I explored Lothric very explorery. Oh. It might be a sign that we're going to a a darts person. <laughs> Buddy. Buddy, what's what's wrong? All the way to the bottom with ya. Making sure I'm not gonna miss anything. Oh my goodness. I am annoying. Death seems the type to throw darts, yeah. 
Um, how do I get them out? <laughs> what have I done? What have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? I mean, it can't be um, too far into the game, huh? Or is it past here? I guess it could be past here. Okay, I'll look it up. We'll see who... Hi! Shalir! How are you doing? What a cute array of emotes you have. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, how is your night going? We're playing a little uh, Soul Level 1. We've got a beauty here. Her name is... What is her name? I forget. It's like an actual name. Tunabella. Tunabella. She's an absolute looker. I've been waiting for so long. Rocking that dusk, the dusk shirt, as is our duty. Just popped out of Sadia's stream because you don't want the Sons of the Forest spo spoilers. What is Sons of the Forest? I don't even know. I don't even know. Do you know where the key to unlock Grey Rat Cell is, Shalir? <laughs> That's what we're looking up right now. Oh. Go to the second floor of this tower instead. When you get to the bottom of the building from the Puss of Man guy you see. Then go to the bottom of the building for the Puss of Man guy you see. Got it. Looks like we've got what we need. But thank you, Shalir. Is this a game you know well? Uh, I don't know. If I Did I ask you how much you've played? I, I try to ask new people all the time, but you might have come home with Skinny and I didn't think to. Depends on if there's like a ton of people that come in at once. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, I thought that's I thought that was your answer, and I. Uh... Okay, sick. Yes, I I remember now. That's great to know. Okay, so second floor. So this one, I think, would be the second floor, is what you mean. Come out here. See the Puss of Man guy. Oh, okay. And then... Bottom of the building. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I remember we did kind of just run through here. Pretty sure. Bit foolish. If I'm Ernst. Wait, did I ever kill this dude? Okay. Okay. Hopefully. Oh, I'm not going to get the thing. Oh, we don't care about the thing. Okay. Room full of explosive barrels. Okay. I'm just going to explore because I think I probably missed some items too. Heaps of dogs. You know you're in the right... Okay. Okay. It's, it's like down in the middle, in the center here. Yeah? Or no? No, it's before that. Uh, maximum backseating in this channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> down the ladder? Wait, what do you mean down the ladder in the room? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are you leading me to the character, though? Because we're trying to get to the key. Oh, okay, 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 that, okay, I, that was confusing me, okay, 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 I'm back on track. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, no, let me just, I just need to explore this area, right? It's, like, in here. down inside that building. Okay. Yeah, I remember. I was like running out of Estus over here and we ran away. Ran away like some cowards. Cringe. Uh I have, but um a long time ago and I didn't play it very thoroughly. <laughs> Mm 
Back when I touched grass every now and then, you know? Yeah, I know. What was I thinking? I could have been grinding. I'm just gonna let him die. Eat the poison! Eat the poison! We want to make sure that we actually complete this mission, so... Mm-hmm. You thought I wasn't paying attention to where you were? No, I was just clearing out the room, nerd. Oh. Uh -huh. No. Oh, I was going to punch him to death. <laughs> okay, good enough. Lothric Knight Armor. Let's go. You could have you could have been going mad. Yeah, exactly. No, I I decided no. That was that was when I was done. I was like, mm -mm. sorry, sorry, Michael. <laughs> you can't make me do that. <laughs> Next time, buddy. But hey, I've put like two thousand hours into Elden Ring, so no problemos there. Uh, is this where the key is? Uh, this is not plus zero, just soul level one. <laughs> plus zero is kind of miserable, huh? <laughs> it's not, not as fun. I'm trying to decide if I want to fall down or not. I don't think I do yet. I want to go be more thorough over here first. Level five plus zero, nice. Yeah, that way you get to, like, um, actually pick some stats and, like, pick a weapon you actually like. Oh, wait, you did plus zero. Oh, my God. Well, at least, yeah, yeah, yeah. At least then you get to pick a, pick a couple more weapons. I'm assuming you put your stats into, like, strength and dex. Or just dex, really. That would give you access to a lot of different shit. And I feel like you need the, the breadth of options. The broadsword. The dark hand. Oh, okay. Is that, like, one of those pyromancer deals that is just, like, a lot better than most other options at that scaling. I don't remember what it does, but dark is like a can be like int or faith, right? Can't be upgraded, right? Classic, right? Classic, classic, classic. I love that my layout puts my little my little um, icon next to everybody's name. Kind of like the meteorite staff of Elden Ring. Mm. Yeah, exactly like the meteorite staff of Elden Ring. Hollow level. Mm. That that's interesting. It could be because it's dark and shit. It's dark. He's a dork. Dork. Is this real? This is real. Silver Eagle Kite Shield. Let's read that so we know where it came from. Silver Eagles are pretty important. But sometimes they don't put anything important on important shields, and I don't get why. Orthodox Metal Shield engraved with a crest depicting a silver eagle. Medium Shields are the most... Yeah, god damn it. <laughs> I knew I knew it was gonna be a debate. Fuck. <laughs> Could be confusing with something else. Been a while. Yeah. Vibes. Wipes. If you really wanna kiss me. Hollow Infusion, which gives a plus five luck start bonus with max hollowing. Oh. What the fuck? That's so weird. On on the uh, on the weapon? On the dark hand. That's pretty nice. I mean there's nothing there's no like weapons you get to unlock that way, but I guess it doesn't matter because you said you're just using that. But yeah, luck is definitely useful on a 
Oh, right, 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 right. It's just an infusion. Oh, okay. It's just hollow infusion. Got you. Got you. Warden Twin Blades. Okay, vibes. That seems good at plus zero. Warden Twin Blades. <laughs> Fuck, that was close. They're really trying to kill me. Fuck. My bad. Oh, at least I know where I'm going. Get a feeling some type of way. It's okay. At least this is like a place where I can actually fight the uh, the stuff without it sucking. What kind of weapons you want to use? Ooh, um, what weapons have you used in the past? That will narrow down quite a bit, I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're like, well, that's gonna take a while for me to list. All of them? Oh, well, that sucks. Um, that's harder. Have you ever tried... So you actually named yourself Hollow because of the Bleach anime? But it's actually so perfect you got from software games. Oh my god, that's hilarious. I thought for sure it was a FromSoft reference. Funny. That's great. That's some lore. That's some Hollow Scout lore right there for sure. <laughs> Get fucked. The deepest lore, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing, but even more careful. And we're gonna equip the fire bombs to fuck people with. Actually, and we're gonna get a better spell. And ant. Fuck you. Die. Die. No, leave me alone. And we need to read the Mikkelen, um, Mikkel, <laughs> I said it, it's Lothric Knight Armor, fucking Miyazaki verse, Freudian slip. Um, armor, uh, <laughs> I'm so obnoxious, you guys, the second my roommate is gone, I'm like, keeping the fucking lights blasting, uh, bright until past midnight, like. That's how I want to live, but nobody likes that in the living room. Everybody hates that. Isn't isn't it great? It is a really good. It is a really cool looking armor set for sure. Armor of a celebrated Lothric knight. The coat of distinction is all but fallen apart. Lights off. Yeah. See, I cannot do that. I don't. I don't know why. Just at some point in my life, I turned into like the exact opposite, and I just love having the lights on because. I just feel like I'm not fighting the contrast with the computer screen. I think it's because I work at a computer all day, every day, and I just don't want, I want to like minimize that fight as much as I can. I get sick of it. Yeah, if you have like a big computer day, you, you keep them on. Right. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. So you have, like, an actual light, like, behind your screen that just, like, splashes off of it? Off of the back of your monitor or something? Okay, let me actually read this, then I'll come talk to you. Uh, armor of a celebrated, a celebrated Lothric Knight. The coat of distinction is all but fallen apart. The knight has served as one of three pillars since ancient times, and shares place alongside the wyverns as a symbol of Lothric. Okay, that's good lore. That's some fucking good lore. Only those possessing a knight's resolve are fit to wear this garment, and it has good poise, I'm guessing. 
Yeah, no one. Uh, light behind the screen always. Yeah, no, just a bright wall, and your light in your room is is bright. Okay. Moving semi soon, so you'll be putting lights on the back of your TV probably. Interesting. Yeah, the first thing I do when, like. I just, the first thing I did when I got my own place was just, like, make sure it was bright. <laughs> I was like, yo, I'm so sick of going to my friend's houses and they have, like, just the worst, like, two fucking lamps. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I got a little Mikola look going for the DLC. Keyword, ambient. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Calix. You got it. You hit the head on the nail. I was like, I'm sick of this. <laughs> I do. I do use that. I don't know if I have it on my computer right now. I have, usually use it, though. I think I reset my computer and never put it back on recently, though. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Two lamps for <are> loving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two whole lamps. Oh, thanks, guys. I can see my homework just fine on your coffee table. Yes. <laughs> Glad I came over to study. <laughs> you can't see shit on this. Fuck. Why is it so hard? Take some pictures, maybe. I think we just need a different spot. Better, different lighting. <coughs> We're going back to our fucking absolutely goaded look. I, I, I love this look. Because of the white cuffs that I mention every single time. Actually, the, the gloves bring it together, too, on the skin tone. No, it, it doesn't. You're right. You're right. It's hard to see things. It's part of the aesthetic, though. It's part of it. Don't worry. All that jank is just part of the experience, baby. Uh, okay. We go like this. We go like this. We pick a new spell. I think let's try the fire orb. That sounds fun. He seems somewhat useful. Great combustion seems pretty good. That light is fading. <laughs> it is actually. <laughs> That's so funny. They're like, well, it's gray because. <laughs> I mean, it and it really does work thematically. Like this, this world, it does make sense. It's like the age of gray, like actually could take over after this one. It's not clear. Then I don't think they really make it like sound what happens after. But yeah. You could very easily say that's going to be an age of gray. Yeah. I don't think I agree with that, but I'll have to get back to you once I'm done with my journey. With my journey. I'm going to have a journey while I'm on my journey. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> You guys, my journey. Yup. Yup, I get it, Emily. Are you gonna try and go to sleep? Like last night, that's what happened to me, and I, unfortunately, I just didn't sleep. Um, I don't know what my favorite is. I think Elden Ring, actually. Actually, Elden Ring, because of the lore, is so good. Lay and stare at the ceiling. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, well, you can come back. I'll, I'll be on for a little bit longer. Not a lot bit longer, but yeah, you're always welcome. Yeah, I get it. Right. It's sometimes you, it's really hard to turn it off. And I don't, I, I would tell you, like, force it, but I couldn't force it. I never forced it. So I don't know what I, I'd just say. Let it ride. <laughs> yep. The egg. Yep. I do hope you sleep well as well. Shalir, you're, you're a sweetie. <laughs> Including Elden Ring. Yeah. Right. Oh, good point. Right. Okay, so do we want to say between the Dark Souls games? Because I can do that too. 
Um, I think my favorite my favorite Dark Souls game is Dark Souls One, but looks wise, I think I like this one the most. This one just like, um, yeah, it just looks crisp. It looks good. But, like, I only say that because the other ones were products of their time, right? Chillier, like, um, like, their poly counts and all that stuff is, like, a really big, um, a really big barrier that they were playing with. So, that has a lot to do with, like, how the lighting was, how good the lighting was, and sh shit like that, so. Yeah, so it colors my perception of them, I guess. This is all I'm trying to get at. Okay, let's fi- oh, the- well, no, fire arp's gonna be better. Oh. Let's go! Yo, fire orb! Oh. oh, shit, he's not dead, he's not dead! Hold on. Warm your heart, say the game is beautiful again. <laughs> it is, it is. It is very good looking. Especially, I think, um... There's this technique in painting called non-metallic metals, uh, and this is what the the metals look like. They're very classy. <clears throat> right, right. It's like that, that's the thing about um, these games is like, despite having similar names and everybody plays them all, who likes them, they're so different. <laughs> Like those those little differences make the experience of playing them way different. <laughs> I guess because even though the character doesn't change that much, the level design philosophy has changed drastically from game to game. Oh, like, look at that. How can you hate on that? I mean, janky lighting or not, that looks good. <laughs> Same point. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. True. That's true. Plus, these are sophisticated bones. They aren't bones that suck. Different lead environment. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> it's really the the thing that really keeps it coherent is Miyazaki and the in-house style. That's like what you would call an actual IP. <laughs> These are the highest quality black bucket bones money could buy. What are you buying? <laughs> what are you selling? Oh, that's a heap of dogs, isn't it? Or no, it's just like one dog. But still, we're working our way over there. I think I do want to drop down. I think I'm... Uh, right. Yeah, I think I do want to drop down, actually. This time? Right. Right. Well, because the IP really is... The peep, the in in house regardless. Yeah, I do not want a Dark Souls four. Chest? There's a chest. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Hyacinth. <laughs> thank you, dear. Oh, yo, you better have some fucking lore. You absolute asshole. Well-crafted sword named after the ruined land, Astora Straight Sword. Astora, before its fall, was a land replete with royal blood. And this weapon is both a reminder and heirloom of that era. Yes, that was some fucking good lore. Lol, they actually had the issue with that before, where the paleontologists would make up bones of different dinosaur species. Yeah. There's Pokemon that show it. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely... They still do that every now and then. It's less common now, but yeah. 
They have such wonderful creativity, and it's always a shame to me to feel the creativity being anchored down by a series name. Yeah, exactly. That totally limits their, their like, idea machine. Yar is your first game. You really wish you could play Bloodborne. Oh my god, I totally assumed you were an old head Calyx, because Calyx is, like, the name of an obscure pyromancer in Dark Souls 3? Or 2? Or 1? In 1, I think? Anyway, there's some pyromancer from the Great Swamp that's named Calyx. Yeah. I think it's in this game. I think it's mentioned in this. Oh, it's Cornix. Yeah, sorry. I wish it was Calyx. <laughs> yeah, I think Elden Ring is strong because it stands upon everything else. Yeah, and it's because it's a new IP. Yeah, exactly. DS3, darling. Yeah, exactly. You're going to know faster than me. Wait, what did Hyacinth say? I missed that one. Bloodborne was worth getting your PS4. I completely agree. <laughs> you should get a PS5 if you can afford it. And then you can play everything. I exploded if that had been true. Yeah. Cornix is pretty close. All those years ago. Yeah, me too, Shillier. Yeah, I ended up buying some other games for it that I really didn't need either. I ended up buying, like, an extra copy of Rainbow Six Siege when I, like, bought Rainbow Six Siege on, like, almost every console. Mm-hmm. I agree, Hyacinth. I wish your PS4 didn't do that either. This is... That was a. St uh, we need to. We need to come back to the straight sword. This is. This is really interesting. This is. This is really, really interesting. Okay. Let's see if it's right here. Is it right here? Is this the one that says, Cornix? No, I don't remember. Where it says it. Right, you bought <laughs> the demon. Yeah, exactly. They know. They know it too. They know who you are, Shalir. They they've been targeting you. Oh, in the next zone. Okay, sick. Awesome. I'm I'm glad we're doing the backtracking first, though. Yeesh. Please be lord. Oh, right. Duh. That's his name. Duh. Oh, wait. Oh, why? Wait, why can't you buy the deluxe edition? Yeah, what the fuck? I mean, you could get it physically, right? You just can't buy the digital download or something? <sighs> yeah, I, I believe you on that part, Shillier. Any Any new UI? Any new user interface? Is just going to be shit from like 2020 on or 20, maybe even like 2015 on because like companies are getting acquired and money just sloshes around like crazy now. And so like there's a new UI every five seconds. And so they're never that great, <laughs> you know, especially in the beginning. Yep. No, I know. I know exactly what you mean. It's because the system doesn't know. The system can't tell that there's a difference between those two states. Whatever. It's because it was programmed in five seconds. That's what I'm saying. When you program something in five seconds, you don't think of these little details. I think... I Right. <clears throat> You're not... I think... I think you can be sure that that'll work. <sighs> I think we, I can 
well, I don't want to say it. <laughs> I'm not going to officially say it, but I feel like I can officially say it. It seems like that would work. Right. <laughs> exactly. I, I don't want to say 100%. <coughs> Alright. Um, second verse, same as the first. Right. <laughs> I get it. <coughs> You're asking it to do too much complex shit. Just accept your game. You have the game, damn it. <coughs> this that was terrible. That was bad, y'all. Oh, I could have way more health. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> I'm gonna wrap it up soon because my uh my brain is starting to fog out here. But I do wanna get to this uh key. <coughs> Alright. Moving is not cheap. Never is. Hope I don't have to move for quite a while. Olive, how are you dear? Nice to see you. I keep forgetting what the buttons are. Oh, I didn't need to come down here. Yeah, I mean, before it floods or, like, you know, they start killing people or something. Just in general, everybody should be leaving Florida. <laughs> it's not safe there. Right. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that you were it, that you were trans or anything like that, but yeah, I agree. Get the fuck out. Yeah, come to come to where it's safe, baby. <clears throat> I literally uh, today was injection day, y'all. Yeah. If we want to have a little trans party right now, everybody's sound off, baby. <laughs> There's quite a few trans ladies in here. And uh, trans nine binary pals as well. <laughs> the souls of trans pipeline is real. It's so real. <laughs> I'm I'm here to like create the souls to trans mecha. I'm trying to do it like quick before anybody else. <laughs> Hurry. It's a straight line, really. <laughs> and crocheting flowers while you watch your homie play DS3. It's so true. It's so true, Gene. <laughs> You're living the life. <laughs> mm. We're all living the life right now. <laughs> this is what it's all about. The fear of being here, but soon. Yeah. Yeah, that's totally normal. You gotta prioritize your safety. But, yeah. Get somewhere safe. Get a doctor that cares about you. And then figure it out from there. Even if you still want to do it. Yeah, take your fucking time, you know? Yeah, that's great. It's going to be a bitch no matter where you go, but uh, if you get the right insurance, it's not nearly as hard as it, people make it out to be as well. The problem is poverty. If you can get over that hurdle. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, see, I... That makes a lot of sense. I, um... I was more of, like, a oops, I'm trans type person. <laughs> like, I just started, like, listening to a bunch of trans artists, and then, like, I was like, oops. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fun, Hall Scout. Some people like that. I'm, I'm more binary trans, but, like, now that I'm more comfortable with my 
transitus, like today I'm rocking a pretty masculine look. And so who knows? Who knows where I'll land at the end? It's so early. It's still kind of early for me. Like I just came out uh, in June. So it's been not that long. Can I not die? I just rather not die. Hold on. Hold on. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. But you want more. I get it. I skipped. I, I kind of like skipped right over that stage. I mean, not everybody has that stage. Some people just want to chill out and, and be land. Um, and that's legit too. <clears throat> but I know I wanted to just go. I was like asking myself for a while. I was like, well, you're just trans, right? And then I just kept asking myself that same question for like six months straight. And then I kept coming up with the same answer at the end. And I was like, all right, full ass. Let's go. <laughs> And here we are. Just transitioning in the closet so far. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That works too. People can just, like, find out when they find out. I think that's pretty legit. You come a lot happier with the idea of future you. Yeah, now it's, like, planning and, like, uh, something to look forward to. It, it like, completely changes the, the paradigm. It made me feel so much better. <clears throat> doing your half with half your family right yeah yeah i get it yeah just leave the people out who can't hang and i agree olive true happiness you know happiness that um actually provides for you and your community happiness that um exudes from you non-medically but socially transitioning girls too of course gene i appreciate you for that <laughs> thank you thank you shalera it's good to have you here We've got a whole network of cuties, don't we? Little sweethearts. Okay, so, we're back where we were, and this time we're not gonna fuck up. Right. I agree. And, um, you know, I think depictions like that uh, are especially helpful for um, transphobia, you know? It's like, once you break that barrier of, like, having a he, him friend with giant boobs for example or something like that that like challenges you visually um that's like the kind of stuff that can break the ice for your whole gender journey in general your gender journey whatever that may be <laughs> thank you olive oh my gosh <laughs> that doesn't make me blush at all Here, sweetheart. Okay, here's the part where we get uh, we get a little bit like this is what veterans do. You know what I'm saying? This is what the the vets come up with. I'm not going down there. These guys might kill me. <laughs> Am I pretty when I go? <laughs> uh, okay. Walk. Sir! Okay, that'll work. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're all gonna die. Oh, come on. Come out here. He is walking so slow. Wait. Hold on, let me just make the ruckness. That's enough ruckness, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. God damn game. Fuck. 
Okay. At least they don't have shields. Oh my... Okay. Yeah, true. That is a good that is a good call. Thank you, Hyacinth. I know I know we could, we can all tell that that was that was truly actually like hyper tragic, but I I like have to pretend it didn't happen because it's that tragic. Otherwise, I will go full tilt. <laughs> that was like so horrible that you don't want to think about it. <laughs> no, it's just like, yep, nice try, nice try, nice try, let's move on. <laughs> Appreciate you, baby. You have a theory on happiness and how it's impossible to find. You can't chase it down, you can manifest or manifest it. It's something that you figure out how to be at peace with yourself. If you figure that out, happiness will just happen. Yeah, happiness is just an emotion, right? It's just a thing that flows. Um, yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, uh-huh, that makes sense. Being at peace with yourself is like a super complicated question, and that's what people don't acknowledge, is that it's a super complicated question. What, I still haven't figured out what weapon class. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Um, so, ha you've done Oonga Boonga, I'm guessing. Have you done Golden Order Fundamentalism, which is all spells allowed, but nothing else? That one's pretty fun. That's my other character. And then you get, like, a... a an, an, I, the way I like to do it is I like to do a lore. A lore perspective. And, uh, Rachel's done this too. Quaylag. She just comes up with even better ones than I have. And, um... If you can come up with, like, a character that you're... Not a cosplay, exactly. But, like, a character in the world that might exist. Like, a wanderer from a certain place. And then, like, try to imagine what they would do. Right. It's an answerable question. Right. It is an answerable question. I agree. Back that and say happiness is formless and shapeless like water fits in the shape of a container. Right. Yeah. I think most emotions are like that too, and that's how you can let really, really intense bad ones go. Uh, even though they're really intense and like really blocking, they can also be um, let go of, which I've been doing at, um, <coughs> at like uh, hypnosis therapy stuff. So, whew, that's been a real, a real kicker, if you know what I mean. Death Rite Bird Priest, that's sick, Calyx, yeah, that's like exactly what I'm talking about. Happiness is both attainable and chaseable, it may be ethereal, but seeking it out is a choice. Okay. I think the trap is more seeking it out endlessly, right? You can definitely seek it, especially when it go comes to connecting with people. Okay, this guy's getting fire. Please stop. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now I'm actually glad I have the... Uh, Oh, I don't have to go that way, huh? I just have to go this way, I think. Yeah. Seeking happiness is like your meaning of life. You want to do it endlessly. You want to help other people do it too. What else are we here for other than to be happy? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so... I don't think I actually have it in me to go into that, but there are a lot of other interpretations, especially uh, under, like, Buddhism and stuff, about what our purpose is. But I do like that you've thought about it a lot, and I and I, uh, I respect your take, and I also uh, respect chasing happiness, because um, 
I think I'm still doing that. You're an optimistic nihilist. Cool. Yeah, uh-huh. Right with that. Okay. Got him. Easy. That part's easy. Now we just need to not walk off the edge. That's all we need to do. Nope. What makes them happy or proud of you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I am certainly doing that right now with, uh, with this Elden Ring lore stuff. Oh, right. We could have used that to our advantage. Oh, well. Oh, hold on. Okay, whatever. <laughs> that works. Yes! We got the double hit. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Bro, come down. Hurry. Hurry! Can you lock on, please? May I please? May I please? May I please? Lock on to you. Lock on to you. <laughs> I've certainly seen you bring a lot of joy in chats. That's for sure, Olive. Oh, hold on. I don't want to pick this up right now. I want to, like, soak in the... That one's, like, on a on an anvil. It could be important. Stop! Where are you? Oh, my goodness. It's being sweet. I don't mean to make up too much air in chat. You're just being too... No, no. It's, like, the end of the night. Like, you're totally chilling. We're just hanging out. We were doing co-work before this, so, like, it was even more chill before this. And now we're just, like, you know, this is the end of the night, so. Speak your mind. Right. Right. Like, I'm really tired. I can't give you, like, a dissertation on Buddhism and why they think life is suffering. But, like, other people in chat probably aren't as tired as me. <laughs> and there's a lot of lore heads here, which means there's a lot of people who like, um, philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. We got the paragraphs rolling in. <laughs> I believe everyone it Okay. Everyone's is. Yeah, I yeah, Shilia, that makes a lot of sense. Happiness is one of those things everybody's gonna have a different opinion on. You have major depression, and because of that, the other factors you have to claw and pry happiness out of the deepest corners of your world. That search and hunt for happiness is what allows you to find joy in things you never thought you could. Okay, yeah. And your story will probably change as you get used to a life that has more balance, you know? Um, yeah, I think that idea is constantly changing for all of us. The downside of chasing happiness for you, it, uh, Calix, is that it always stays in the future. You just need... Okay, I see what you're saying. You're talking about like goals and shit that bring you happiness. You need other things or a person or this job, and then you'll be happy. But for you, after you got those things, you're struggling at the same things. Okay. Now I totally see where you're coming from. Just double check because this is why we are here, bottom of the stairs, where there is a dog. Right. Bottom of the stairs, where there is a dog. Okay. That's where the key is. Good. Estes shard. Let's go. Perspectives are forever shifting, especially on an extremely complex topic like happiness. It's just like a a thing we feel sometimes that everybody says is nice. <laughs> Seek out whatever makes you happy right now and maintain lose future goals, but only for your own survival. But you totally see where you're coming from. Yeah. Yeah. I think I had a perspective that was like that for a while. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. 
It's all valid, baby. I think that's also a big thing in Elden Ring is that, like, um, there's so many different perspectives being put on display. I think they did, they did a good job there. There's obviously shortcomings, but, um, yeah. I'm happy with what they achieved. What they uh, improved upon from the older games. Thank you, Hyacinth. Selkie, we got it. All right, let's go talk to him, and then let's call it a day, hey? <clears throat> I don't know if it's worth it to backtrack. Oh, you know what? Let's... Con I'm just... I'm... Ba -ba 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 I'm gonna finish uh, exploring this area before we leave. So, if you guys like philosophy, like, I'm gonna be talking more philosophy, not now, but in my uh, final essay someday. There's gonna be, like, a lot of trans talk, a lot of gender talk, and a lot of philosophy in that. So, I hope you guys will be around, and hopefully I, I'm gonna peddle the shit out of it when I'm done. So, someday, my big Elden Ring is, is hyper trans. Yeah. Tied to the most interesting perspective of life for you. Oh, okay. If this admirable life can be cruel, so cruel. Proud of you for having... Yeah, Olive, I think you you definitely are on the same track as... Um, who, who did say that earlier? Shit. Chillier. Yeah, let me... I can't add anything to this comment because your brain decided to endlessly play that Pharrell song from Despicable Me because I'm happy. <laughs> okay, so... Let me, uh... Let me hit you with a little bit of self-promo. If you want to see my, my trans theories that I have already, I have lots of work on it. I just haven't... Don't have, like, my big fancy essay with, like, short stories about my life and stuff interwoven. But, like, lore's coming. Lore's coming. And there's going to be philosophy um, riddled throughout. So I I really think that, like, the stuff I'm coming out with in the near future, like, you guys will like. The world would be DS3 shaded if it were up to you. <laughs> there are people like you to turn up the saturation. So true. I get it. <laughs> I get it. We need both. <coughs> I've been both of those people, actually. I've been both of those people recently. I don't remember where we're going to find him. But I also want to just kind of poke around here for a second. You don't have to make a Twitter just if you want to. Um, mostly it's just... If you want to see my lore, it's all in that first tweet. It's pinned. I pinned it, so you click into that one, and then all of the replies are like links to my projects. So it's like really easy to, to click through. You just like click like three times, I want to say, twice or three times, and you're into a document. Strive to spread good times. Hell yeah. <coughs> That's, I mean, yeah, I was being, I was flattering you earlier, but I was also being serious. Like, um, I have seen you make people very joyous in chats. Like, they're happy to see you be around. Very genuinely. A lighthouse in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> A sweetie pie, if thou will. Okay. Poking around is done. This is officially a dead end. Wait. No, it's not. Can't I go out here somehow? Oh, no. This is a dead end. Okay. 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 I believe you, Michael. <coughs> oh, thank you, Olive. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, everybody notices it about you. Yeah. Uh, that's self-evident. Self-evident! Mm-hmm. We're gonna go talk to a new lore dispenser. Nope. 
nothing in there. Nothing in there. Okay, so we did all this. Is there an exit this way? Nope. 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 Sorry. I know it takes my brain a long time to download everything, but I am downloading it all. I'm glad you guys are, like, <laughs> just sending each other cute little hearts. <laughs> you gotta love that. You gotta love it. You have to. Or you're kicked off. How do I get to that one? I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay. We're continuing to... Oh, no. I don't think I ever went up here. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I do believe in that. And, um, you know, like I said, I, I was a preschool teacher right before this, and I tried really hard to foster a good environment for them, and I was like, yep, I'm going to apply that same shit here. So, thank you for picking up what I'm putting down with the friendliness and caring about people stuff. <laughs> thank you for reciprocating. No, you're cute. Yeah, it's so true. It's so true, Olive. <coughs> All in needing uh, another source of light, Radagon. Yeah, in order to shine is connecting to the feminist theory. Exactly what you're thinking. Yeah, yeah. And also, um, I think in her case, uh, um, Rachel pointed out a good point that the the light of the full moon in Souls games is often associated with like an academic sort of knowledge. Like book book knowledge, which has been um, traditionally used as like a barrier to keep women out of um, places of power in society. Um, right, and she is like a, she is a woman who kind of like broke into the boys' club, seeming seeming boys' club. It's not like confirmed confirmed boys' club vibes at Rea Lucaria, um, but they didn't study the moon before, and they study the moon now. So, to me, that's, like, symbolism of her, um, her bringing femininity into, like, uh, be also studied. Right, it was. Right. And some people liked it, and some people didn't. Some people were up the wrong way. So, it just sounds a lot like a woman rising to power through, through the boys' club rather than dismantling it. Right. Exactly. It's like, you know, um, yeah, exactly. So that's why I think their lineage is a, is a story of feminism, because Ronnie sounds like more modern feminism to me. Um, and Renala is like, like, oh, uh, a, a slightly older take, perhaps. Renala be girl bossing. What can I say? She is girl bossing. <laughs> exactly, Calix. I'm I'm glad I'm glad you're on the same wavelength with the dark moon uh, imagery and stuff. You know, like some people take a lot of convincing, and I'm glad that those people exist because those people make my documents good. Um, but it's also nice to hear somebody be like, "Yep, I'm just on page." <laughs> it's really nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I wrote I wrote some tweets about that. I don't know if you saw that one. That was a little bit later. I think. I think this is two different things. Why am I going the wrong way? What do, what do I keep doing wrong? Oh, I know. I know. Never mind. <coughs> Got it. <laughs> nice. Nice. Thank you. Well, yeah. Don't, don't feel shy in the future. I mean... If you feel shy, that's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I encourage you. Bloodborne, this is all about how people, women, is really f fucking hard. And I personally think that part of the story about being trans for, yeah. Well, it's, you know that Bloodborne is about being a woman is really fucking hard. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, the, I don't know about Bloodborne's, um, like, queer coding as well. Because I'm worse at analyzing uh cosmic horror i think personally um but i do see it there and i have watched some essays about it <clears throat> what notable and interesting to you olive 
is that the moonlight is reflected sunlight, but there isn't a lot of sun symbology in Elden Ring at all. You got it, girl. Stick with me, girl. <laughs> Transfem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Transfem. I do, I do think you're right. And I think that I... Okay, so... If that is that, I, it's going to take me a long time to get there. I probably will get there someday. And when I get there, I think my opinion is going to be that they did it a little roughly, is all. That they did a good, a, a good job, but they did it a little roughly, and that's more... It's much... I, I like Elden Ring's depiction more in terms of feminist symbolism. <laughs> but yeah. Bottom of this tower. Yeah, I don't know why I was going up. Sorry. <laughs> I just have ADHD and I'm having a lot of fun talking to people. <laughs> Everybody. I think the whole becoming a great one thing is literally transitioning. I, yeah, I, th I that's what I'm... That's, that's exactly... Yeah, makes sense. But I don't... But I have not mapped it yet. I have not, like... Because I wasn't trans... Like, I wasn't even really thinking about it back then. It was, like, one of those things where it was, like, so repressed that it just wasn't part of my daily life at all. I, like, knew a trans girl when I was really young. And, uh, there's definitely, like, something, like, lit off in my mind. And then, I don't know, somewhere along the lines, I was like, nope, that's not okay to explore. And just never did it. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Exactly, and I think they did a great job with the fishing hamlet and all that stuff that Rachel talks about of subverting uh, his work. And I think they did a great job with that part. I think they did a less, uh, a, a more gruff job with the feminism itself. But I think the hamlet was... Oh, uh, oh, oh, perfect, perfect. Fuck you, H.P. Lovecraft. Like that. <laughs> When the Matrix is trans allegory, yeah, yeah, that really just like fucking breaks you, huh? <clears throat> yeah, you didn't know that theory, Heisen. H.P. Lovecraft was a horrible person. Cosmic horror is very cool. Yeah, exactly. Used to love Shadows over Insmith till you found out. Yeah, yep, yeah, exactly. Whoops, whoops, anti-Semitism. <clears throat> Oopsie. <laughs> yeah, honestly, unfortunately. <laughs> You're saying that's racist. <laughs> You'll ever read Discworld? I don't know, I don't know what that is. Judging by the bell, you must be some of that unkindled ash. Whoa. Remarkable. Yo. If that's true, that was a really interesting wording. Buddhism-wise. Below the high wall is a musty little town. Not the home of any lord. Just a, a very old settlement. Okay. Undead. An old woman. Old double times. In fact, in fact, if you do this for me, I'll be sure to repay you in kind. You know, I, I may be a petty thief, but I've more wits than most royalty. Oh, that's awesome, Shalir. I've been waiting for some for like the people to do that in a way that I'm actually impressed by. I've been waiting. And Elden Ring gets really close. In a lot of ways, I'm glad, because in the trans realm I think they got there. There's some other realms that they kind of missed the bar, missed the bar, but yeah. Very well. I humbly place my faith in you. Terry Pratchett. Okay, sick. I'll look it up. The undead settlement, and I promise to assist you. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. Did we talk to her already? Yes. I'll do mine. Right? I think so. Oh, it's the blue tearstone ring? 
Yo, lore alert? Yeah, l double lore alert in a row? Loretta and Blue Tearstone Ring, and it's a gift from an important character? Yo. That's a bit of a yo. Yeah, <laughs> she's in the Halleck tree. Yeah, what? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> she doesn't live here. <laughs> Oh my god, I missed so much. Why? Wait, did it did it did it say a different name and I'm an idiot? <laughs> that what's going on here? <laughs> Am I super tired? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. I wasn't understanding the second part. I got it, I got it. I'm on track, I'm on track, I'm on track. <laughs> I got it. Okay, let's read the let's read the ring. I think I'd rather have that than the life ring. The Havels doesn't seem to be doing much right now, but I just like having Havels ring on. <laughs> I just like it. Yeah, yeah, we gotta do these. No, this is not New Game Plus. This is regular. Just regular. A ring set with a large, rare T stone jewel. Temporarily boosts damage absorption when HP is low. This stone is said to be a Tear of Sorrow. Of the goddess Katha, and of course, tears are always more beautiful near death. Which is also a Velka thing, right? Is this like, Katha's like... Some kind of Valkyrie reincarnation or not? Nah? Am I like just totally wrong there? <clears throat> yeah, it's just no leveling. It's room level one, baby. Room level one, love. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just because we missed a bunch of stuff, Olive. That's all. We missed a bunch of stuff. Associated with dark and anti-gods stuff from DLS2. So yes, which is which is Velka because that's that has a through line to Velka in the in DS1. <clears throat> so yeah. Unless you have a different interpretation. Is this also the Selkie? Nah. Lame. Um. The plot against the gods. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I said, right? I think that's what I said. But yeah, that's what I meant. Like a, a reincarnation and then also... Pops possibly a like a forgotten name of the reincarnation, or, or like the wrong name for the reincarnation even, because <laughs> I can't remember what the name is in Dark Souls Two. Is it a different name in Dark Souls Two? <clears throat> uh, it might be the same one. In, in in which case that would be a good point in the uh, they made Dark Souls Two references everybody category. <laughs> I swear they referenced Dark Souls 2 a lot in this game. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fuzziest on all of them right now. <laughs> Which is why we're doing this. We're working our way through all of them, by the way, Shalir. So, like, every... Every... Like... It's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit disjointed. But not too much. Uh, we're just gonna, like, go in chronological order. Keep playing the games. And keep switching off. It had to do... Oh, uh, yeah. Right. I think... Okay, so... I still think the main two themes are just the curse, lying, and... Uh, like, dementia, and forgetting things. So, I think it's strong. It still has, like, strong themes throughout, and they still did their job well. Um, but, yeah. It, it does have, like, those telltale signs of being past hands. 
No, I know, I know. <laughs> Boo, I know. I I believe you. I just I do want to chart it as we go. I'm I the the talking shit is just for play. <laughs> I have not played the DLC. That's the thing. That DLC is going to be totally fresh. So it's going to be fucking hard on level 1. <laughs> <clears throat> the main story was time travel originally. Right. You mean in Dark Souls 1? And then they went with... Whole Kingdoms instead. Oh, right. Oh, really? The main story was time travel? Oh, so you're talking about, like, before Tanimura took over? <laughs> talking shit, and I'm just... <laughs> talking shit, too. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure. Because <laughs> I like you. I li I I'm partial to you, Hyacinth. They scraped DLS2 and started over at one point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did know that, but I didn't know, like, what was the plan before that. They scrapped a whole system in this game, too, if you guys don't remember. There was talks of them, like, doing a set-your-own-bonfire, stab-the-coil-into-the-ground type shit. Bandai Namco looked at it and said, this doesn't look like Dark Souls. <laughs> That's not Dark Souls. Put the lava in it. Where's the lava? Put the lava and the samurais in a zone. What are you doing? <laughs> Alright, do the swamp next. Okay. Where's the lord guy? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> They have other environments, you guys. Let's go to a swamp, huh? <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're going to go to Firelink and talk to dudes, and then we're going to call it a night. <coughs> I just wanted to load up the zone. <coughs> we were going to go here, but I realized I had a bunch of other shit I haven't done. <coughs> Excuse me for my coughing. Sorry. Right. I don't... I, I assume that's how I'm going to feel about Code Vein as well. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of mid, isn't it? Isn't it just kind of okay? This isn't Dark Souls. Where Big Boob Lady. Yeah, it's so true. Where is Big Boob Lady? What the fuck? This is Small Boob Lady. Or Medium Boob Lady at, at best. <coughs> You rang. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> it's lit. <laughs> You're really liking Steel Rising. Oh, really? Oh yeah, yeah. Gene was playing that, weren't you, Gene? That's the uh, that's the French French esque one. Bug Bite City. Yeah, I'm about to be Bug Bite City. I'm almost at Bug Bites. Let's fucking go. Interview book that Miyazaki didn't want Big Boob Lady and the artist was so happy with it. Yeah, Hyacinth, I'm gonna talk about that in the in the in the feminism essay. I'm gonna talk about that because like, yo, know, he was like not putting his foot down back in the day. <laughs> Playing dress up as French automaton is fucking great. Yeah. 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 You can't you can't hate on that. Yeah, I knew it. I was like, Jean, you gotta <laughs> come get some of this love, girl. <laughs> come get some of this love. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just buy these, I think. Is there other stuff we need to buy? There's more Titanite shards, I guess. Oh, the armor! I keep forgetting. Let's just save it. We'll save it. Lies of P? Oh, I had no idea. What's that? You gotta get through the DLC. Elden Ring lore keeps getting in the way. Yeah, I mean, Elden Ring is all-consuming if you want it to be, baby. 
and I'm letting it. I'm honestly just letting it be my life. That little cutie right there story is obscenely familiar to you. <laughs> Wait, which one? Oh, jeans? Do you also do lore, Shalir? It's like Pinocchio Bloodborne. Oh, really? For storyline? Or, oh, yeah. You mean the, the aesthetics, because that's definitely true. With all the extendo arm shit going on, it's kind of sick. <clears throat> Alright, let's go find this dude. I don't know where he shows up. Oh, the Lies of P game. Oh, interesting. That sounds so similar to the other one. <coughs> oh, okay. Yeah, exactly, Shalir. I got you. So, okay, hold on, Shalir. Let me, let me, let me just, you guys, linking the, linking the Twitter's cute. I love to get followers. You know, I love followers. But let me, let me just cut to the, cut to the shit. We got a lot of trans girls in chat. Like, I would, re it would mean a lot to me if you guys, like, actually, I'm gonna ask you to go out of your way for this one. <laughs> I don't normally do say, say stuff like that, but like, it would be cool. This is this is my trans research into Elden Ring, and uh, Gene Decay from the MX Files. We yeah. <laughs> Trans girls in this chat? No. <laughs> so that with the what I linked to you as a mural board, it's got all the research on there. If you like lore at all, um, this like lays out a lot of the trans characters and themes in Elden Ring, and um, you know we're trying to like make a space for ourselves in the lore community. So that's my pitch. I think the I think the work speaks for itself. It's really good. It's really good. Me and Gene worked super duper hard on that. <clears throat> I do the YouTube vids. <laughs> right, yeah. There's a lot more trans content coming eventually. When my needle rides its way back to it. So hard for you to figure out how to put your thoughts into words sometimes. Yeah, I think mural boards is my best way because you can vomit and uh, figure it out later. Oh, wait. Oh, Loretta's already dead, right? She doesn't exist, isn't she? Oh. Yo. Mask worn by those with something to hide. Used to conceal the face, muffle the voice. And go by cover of darkness. Uh, hard leather boots. Boots made of thick leather. Used by warriors of old. But one can still expect sound defense. Cool. But the golden order being a mirror to Christianity's destruction of pagan culture in Ireland. Yeah. That's a great one. That's a great, um, like entry rabbit hole you know like one that can just that if you if you bring that to its fruition it will suck you into a lot of other things <clears throat> just a bone loretta owns not actually loretta's bone <laughs> oh yeah you're right i said that i remember people talking about that back in the day on say patty's day <laughs> mm-hmm mm-hmm Today's the day we anoint a new, a new, uh, ferv fervent <laughs> adherent of Saint Trina. <laughs> uh, the blue antlers are reminiscent of the design found in Mira. Okay, that's something we need to keep in, in mind. 
Okay, that's a cool one. All hell, mighty lord. <laughs> Thank you, dear. <laughs> the fight I'd love to see. <laughs> Maybe if we both get sloshed first. I don't... I don't enjoy laying hands on a... A saint. <laughs> Trina's a sleeper, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to be a sleeper, y'all. <laughs> this kid's fully on smallpox and die. Yeah, that's a good point. Good point. Doesn't have that modern medicine like I do, baby. You had quite a few Irish nuns as teachers growing up. Interesting. I... Okay. Mm, last night I didn't, really. I slept for, like, a little while. <laughs> Irish nuns. That's so funny. A few of them. Did you go to a, like uh, a rando Catholic school? Should I give the bone? I'm giving the bone. Heavens. She was already dead. Yeah, dummy. Of course. Yeah, I'm not surprised though. Aww. Just relief, really. You can keep the ring. As. Right. <clears throat> Makes sense. But <laughs> they're eighth. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot of nuns talking at you. That's tough. You can keep the ring. Oh, fine. That's all you got? I wonder if he'll say something different after we reload. Whoa, what is this one? Whoa. Oh, right, 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 right. It's their, it's their little icon. Their little, uh... I didn't read it, though. I don't think I did read it. I know what it is, though. It's the little wolfie covenant item. That's what our covenant is. See, we're the wolf. We're the... We're the... We're the... We're the, we're the wolf. <laughs> we're the wolf! Not long though, thankfully. Oh yeah, thank, thankfully. <laughs> think overpopulation became a problem in the Dark Souls world. They don't really state it that way, Shalir. I don't think so. Like it, it, it was like vague. I feel like it was vaguely alluded to in Dark Souls too, and probably some of their, um, some of the cycles along the way had some form of that because in, by the time Dark Souls 3 comes along there's been a lot of kingdoms um, but they don't really say that outright in any of them I don't think you just see a lot of Wilbur's yeah oh exactly there's just an extra green Wilbur right next to all the other Wilbur's today <laughs> this Wilbur just happens to be a little green Okay, okay. There you go. There you go, Olive. That makes sense. Dark Souls 3 would be a logical one for them to talk about that the most. And I might for be forgetting um, stuff in the other ones, too. Right. STG? What does STG mean? <clears throat> uh, okay, we're trying to read the... This one. I swear to God, the Dark Souls world is connected. Shinov, giant trees. Yeah, I'm down with that, Shalir. That's pretty. You could convince me of that. You'd have to like lay it all out, of course. But yeah, you could convince me of that. <coughs> a leaf, a signal. <coughs> Excuse me. Hold on. Gotta cough it out. Drink some water. A, a leaf signifying a duty fulfilled by the watchdogs of Farron, who stand beside the old wolf to ensure the serenity of those at rest. Depicts a swordgrass leaf stained with dried blood. 
long ago, the Swordgrass Leaf quietly identified members of the Undead Legion. Whoa, okay. So they used to carry these, but now they're like a thing you gotta go collect. In the rotted forest rest the spirits of warriors past. Their acceptance of and gratitude towards their guardians is expressed eloquently by the humble leaf. That one's going to take some time to unpack. That was a lot. You had the overpopulation thought because of the undead berg and the bodies they have. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the beauty of really fucking good environment and environment. And, environmental storytelling and that is it for me guys i think we got we read everything we've already gone through these other ones i'm gonna give you a little zoom in let's let's do a little facetime before i leave why uh why get us a raid target huh raid target acquired thank you gene it was really nice to have you all here. Thanks for being here. I should. I'm gonna like try and do some stream upgrades next. I think that's like on my list of things to do in the near future. So look look forward to that. One new emo coming. I love you all. Don't forget to check out my Twitter and YouTube because I'm just so pretty. <laughs> Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, yeah. I thank you so much for being here, everybody. I've been really enjoying myself and just really loving my time uh streaming. So, just thank you. It's been really rewarding. Oh my god, I know exactly where we're going to go. Look at all these pretty girls. Yeah, exactly. We're going to raid my girl Celestia. She's a PNG tuber and she is just an absolute joy because we were having like good safe vibes. I want to take us to like a place that I know has good safe vibes and uh, very ally forward. I think she's cis hat. I know, dirty word, but.